Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And today I have to do a tutorial today about Pinnacle Studio and some of the things, one huge flaw that I had to really find out the hard way, sort of. I recently did a video uh, about um, Spec Ops The Line. Um, I don't know if y'all saw it. It's a, it's the, it's the newest video I posted. I did all the in-game cinemas to that game. And it took about an hour to render and everything, and I was running out of disk space. See, the problem with Pinnacle Studio 15, they don't they don't tell you that you're going to need disk space when it renders. Like, when I say render, like, if you have HD video, you'll see, like, a green, you see, like, a green bar right here. And it's just rendering that, that whole, you know, movie, especially if you're in HD. Microsoft, um... Microsoft Movie Maker and Windows Live Movie Maker does this as well, but to the extent of Pinnacle, not really. Now, when you run out of disk space, like you actually need disk space, hard drive space to actually make a video when it renders. You'll actually see like um, your, your hard drive space being used. Now, if you get to the point where you see this message where it says there's not enough disk space on drive C, which is your hard drive, to render aux auxiliary files, that's what they're called, they'll say please delete the auxiliary files or change uh, to another drive. Now, I'm going to show you a quick, a quick tutorial on, on how to select different drives as far as hard drives. Now, if you go up here to the top, right here where it says make movie and you go over here you can actually select the type of drive you want right now over here I have drive C which is my hard drive now if you press this you can actually you can actually select um, what drive you want like I have another um, I have another right here I don't, you're not gonna see it but I have another uh, external hard drive the free agent go uh hard drive it's like 500 gigabytes now you can select that and if you have space on that you're fine but it will start the whole rendering process over again but that was another issue i ran into like i didn't know how to change the hard drive which hard drive to use but you know pretty much how to do it now but back to the tutorial of this video now I have as you can see I'm gonna do this live right I'm gonna do this live you can see right now that I have only 500 megabytes and counting left of hard drive space out of out of like a 500 gigabyte hard drive it'll say 450 but you know how you know when it's 500 it's not necessarily 500 but there is a way to actually delete all these auxiliary files and free up um megabyte um actually gigabytes when i say gigabytes gigabytes worth of space because what happens every time you make a video in pinnacle they will save these these temporary auxiliary files not temporary they'll actually hold them on your hard drive they don't leave when you're uh done making a movie and um like i said i had to find that out the hard way now there's i'm gonna show you the quickest way to do it because once one way is you can go up here to setup up at the top and click it and you gotta click on project preferences and you have to click over here where it says folder you gotta make sure you press the tab that says project preferences and you go down and it says folder to auxiliary file it's just on my hard drive under the render folder but if you press delete it's only going to delete about a gig or so for me because i i had pinnacle for a while for months so i didn't know every video i was making they were making these um they were making these like temporary auxiliary files that take up like gigabytes worth of space so there's another way to find out how to free up uh, um, space, and I didn't learn this until I researched it. Okay, and what you're going to do is 
you're going to go over to the start menu, okay? And you're going to click on control panel. And you're going to go over here to appearance, appearance, and personalization. And you're going to go down here where it says folder options. And you're going to click under where it says folder options. It's going to say show hidden files and folders. Now, the sad part about Pinnacle Studio is that this folder is really hidden. It really is. Like, I didn't know how hidden it was because I saw it the first time I tried to make my Spec off the Line movie. But when I went back, it was it was gone. I don't know where it went. So what you're going to do is go to Folder Options and click on Show Hidden Folders. Now you're going to go over here and you're going to click the tab that says View. And you're going to go down to, I got to zoom in to help you out real quick because I got to show you this. You're going to go to, you're going to go to View and you're going to go down to where it says hidden files and folders and you're going to click the bubble that says show hidden files and folders and you're going to press OK. Now watch what happens. Now when you go, I'm going to show you how to how to get to that folder. You're going to go to uh, your computer basically at the start menu. You're going to see your hard drive, right? You're going to click on your hard drive. Mine is hard drive C. Now look how much space I don't have. <laughs> I got like 300, uh, 300 megabytes left. And I want to do this live to show y'all that this, this works. That's why I didn't do anything. So you're going to click it and you're going to go down and it's going to be, it's going to be called the program data folder. Now watch this program data. You're going to see it like a little silhouette of it. Like you're actually trying to cut it. You're trying to cut and paste it, but you're not. But it's gonna be like it's a, a ghost folder, basically. That's how it look. It don't it don't look like it's is 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 lighter than all the other folders. You're gonna click this data folder, and you're gonna go down to Pinnacle Studio. Scroll all the way down, and click that folder. Pinnacle Studio. Uh, uh actually, Studio 15. And you're gonna and you're gonna actually click it. And when you click it, it's gonna get to a data folder, which is right here. And you're going to go, it's gonna be under the render folder. And these and these are all the all the videos that I did. Every last one of my videos, they made a folder of all of them. Look at that. This is over. I don't know how many videos, but it's a lot. I can I can give you the exact number if you if if we want to get technical, I can give you the exact number of all the pretty much all the YouTube videos you see. These are all these are all of them right here. Now what you're going to do How many how many files are there? There are like Well, they say it's like a hundred, uh, twenty thousand files. It's like a thousand folders, but they're just pretty much going over because I take snippets of other, of other uh, videos to make one video. But look how much hard drive space this thing is taking. You see that? That's three hundred and ninety-five gigabytes of space that Pinnacle Studio is using right now, right now as we speak. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything. But let me tell y'all something right now. Before you delete anything, make sure that, first of all, you're not going to go back to, like, your video is already finalized. What I mean by finalized, when you make a project, like, say you make making a new video, you're adding text, you're adding a voiceovers, you're adding uh, credits, you're adding new clips, you're adding this. If you delete these files, your project is going to be gone. So make sure you select the movies or, I mean, the videos that you're doing that you want to keep in your project. Um, because once you delete these files, you can't go back to that same project. Now, if you have the raw footage of all your videos that you want, 
it doesn't delete your raw footage videos, but it'll just delete if you have it in a project somewhere, if that makes any sense. But most of the videos that I've done are, are, are finalized, so I can go ahead and delete all this. I really don't need it. And I'm going to show you uh, the results of that. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to delete all these. Now, what I'm going to also do is just go through these files first just to make sure it's just my videos. Now, anything... Anything that looks suspicious as far as if you question if you want to delete it or not, like right here where it says aux files b10 project da da da, I leave those files alone. But if you see any titles of projects that you recently did, you can just go ahead and delete those. So I'm just going to just go ahead just make sure if I if I question any of these I'm not going to delete them and I'm going to show you after all this is done I'm gonna come back and show you the results all right so all of it's been deleted um, I, got, I, got, I got some temporary files right here uh, don't worry about those they're the DTL files they don't look like they take up much space you can delete those if you want to but me as long as I get the other stuff out the way I'm good so let's go ahead and check what it what it looks like there you go right there look at that night and day look at how much that freed up I got 372 gigabytes free now and there you go man I mean knowing this what I've ordered Pinnacle Studio again knowing all this yes I still would I think Pinnacle Studio is great. Um, there was just a huge flaw with the eating up your hard drive space. But like I said, I will still buy this uh, software again. I love Pinnacle Studio. I'm not going to upgrade for a while unless I do like any type of special special effects or any type of effects I need that I don't have in uh, version 15. And I'm going to be using this for a while. So there you go. There you have it. There go your tutorial today for Pinnacle Studio. If you like what you saw today, uh, please like the video. It really helps out a lot. And there go all my contact information. See you later. Thanks a lot.